Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome to more Drive Club because we're playing that again. More, more, more Drive Club in a Ferrari F50. Yes, that's right, we are driving the Ferrari F50 today. And I've got to say, like, this thing sounds amazing. I'm not a huge fan of the F40 and 50, to be honest. Instant dislikes of video, but that's fine. But I've got to say, this thing sounds absolutely amazing. Wait, we're going off-road now? We're going on, like, cobblestone or whatever. I don't bloody know the name of it. But yeah, this thing, it actually handles really well. It sounds really good as well. I didn't expect it to sound this good, but once you start, like, once you listen to this, it's like, oh, okay, that sounds pretty nice, but then you go into the other views. Oh, instant vibration noise added to the car, and it sounds magnificent. Absolutely love it. All right, let's try not to kill me here, Ferrari. I know we're not the best of friends, but try not to kill me. But yeah, I wanted to do a time trial. Is that a pumpkin? I don't know if that was a pumpkin. I wanted to do a little time trial just to get used to the car, and I've got to say straight... We're in freaking neutral. I always do that. It looks a bit odd. Look at it. It looks like it's... Oh, no, please love me. It's, that, it's like high or something. Small green. But no. Um, <laughs> of all the Ferraris, I'm not a fan of all the old ones, to be honest. I much prefer the newer ones. Um, some people prefer the old ones, and that's absolutely fine. You go that way, sir. But if I had a, a choice to own a Ferrari, that's a good question. In the comment section below, let me know what if you can have one Ferrari, what would it be and why? I like doing these little questions in videos. Mine myself would be an F12. At the beginning when I saw the F12, I thought that thing was the ugliest Ferrari I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I don't know why there was just something weird about it. This was going from me loving the 458. How are we still alive from that? That was ridiculous. But yeah, after seeing the 458, and then to the F12, I was like, what the hell is that? But then I realized that the F12 just looks amazing. Oh my god, Ferrari, don't kill me! Please, break! Oh, we didn't even need to break that much. I was just I was panicking and breaking much more than I needed to. This just reminds me of, um, oh, what's the game called? Shite! <laughs> The game of Outrun. Outrun. That's what I'm playing right now. It looks like Outrun. Except it's more graphically detailed and less drifty. If I knew how to drive this thing, small green, then it, then it would be much better. But let's let's not let's let's go back to the cockpit view for a little bit. Oh, it just didn't sound freaking enhancement. Jesus Christ, how did we do? I know we crashed and stood still for like 20 minutes, but that's fine. How did we do? Come on, give us a lead. 39. Perfect. Now, okay, let's go on to a proper race. You! Shite bag. You just hit... Oh, we got that freaking SLS there. We got another F15. Grey. That actually looks really nice. I never thought I'd say a car in grey looks that nice, but that does. And where the hell that thing is? I forgot the name of it. It's like the race version. You! Do you mind? You're hitting a really expensive car here, and I will freaking come out and shove your exhaust up your ass if you keep doing that. He's got orange rim. He's got like a red tint on his rims. It looked like he had orange rims for a second. SLS move! Get your butt out. Bloody hell, why's it got blue at the front on the grill? That looks really, really odd. Oh, is that the electric freaking SLS? That is the electric SLS, isn't it? Because you won't be able to call up the grill of the other one. Yeah. I can't hear an engine. I, I was like, w wait. I couldn't hear the roar of an SLS behind me. Oh, shite! I've cut this one up. Oh, <laughs> I love putting my foot down on this game. Like, people come in like, oh, you drive like it's Need for Speed. I'm like, who cares? It's a freaking game, and I'm still not doing too bad, right? He says while he's in ninth place. This is not the quickest of cars that I've driven. I expected a lot more turn ability without pressing the brake but apparently I'm the only one that has to brake on this and the other F50 behind me but somehow he's bloody gaining on me don't go off road don't you dare what the hell oh! oh 
but uh, we're actually in fourth place this time and not last. For some reason, I managed to drive better when not commentating. Who would have figured? Because, you know, I have to concentrate on commentating and driving and it's kind of difficult, but it's fine. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> people were saying that I drive like it's Need for Speed and it's like, well, I like to drive on the freaking edge. I like to push it. I like to freaking floor it where I want to. I'm not the racing line. Oh, put a couple of seconds on this apex and that sort of stuff guy. I've never been that type of guy. I will never be that type of guy because I'm not that type of person. It just doesn't, it's not me. I'm the more put your foot down and hope for the best. Oh, shit. We are coming in and I think we're going to stick in this position. Oh, we're going to take the freaking Corvette. Move, buddy. Stay behind. Unless you're driving like a granddad all of a sudden. Thank you very much for your uh, for your kindness of letting me not come fourth place, but third. You let me come third. You you all right? You are you okay? No. All right. So there you go. That's some more drive club for you today. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button and let me know you want to see more. Let me know your favorite Ferrari, as I said. Until next time, guys. Subscribe for more. Peace.